As networked healthcare devices become more prevalent, healthcare organizations are, can be increasingly vulnerable to cyber attacks. We're here with Equi's principal project engineer, Yuso Leinenen, to talk about some of those vulnerabilities, how they're evolving, and what organizations can do to start to reduce their risk. You so what makes uh, healthcare organizations such prominent targets of cyber attacks? Healthcare organizations certainly have been a target for cyber attacks as of late. And there's a couple key reasons for, for it. Why? Uh, healthcare organizations house a lot of high value da data, specifically protected health information, which is literally everywhere in healthcare organizations. The second thing is uh, the criticality of devices. Healthcare organizations rely on uh, interconnected systems, data systems to deliver care, uh, which are critical for uh, patient care. You know, a lot of times, especially when we're talking about uh, data and information, right, I think of cybersecurity as being a financial risk to an organization. And obviously, it is that. Um, is there also a patient safety aspect to cybersecurity? Absolutely. Cybersecurity should be thought of as a patient safety issue, which in the worst case scenario can impact patient care. Absolutely, it has financial components to it as well, uh, from loss of revenue to uh, financial cost of recovery from a cybersecurity incident, but it can actually have tangible impacts on how you take care of patients. And again, this is uh, largely rooted in the fact that a lot of clinical workflows are uh, reliant on interconnected data systems to deliver care. And when these systems are suddenly not available, this can impact uh, the care delivery in various ways. So, uh, some of the ways are, uh, for example, when a service or technology is unavailable for use, where that it could lead to a um, hospital having to close a business unit, for example, and not, not be able to deliver care through that. But it can also lead to altered clinical workflows like suddenly a safety system that you're relying on to deliver care may not be avail uh, available. So those as a combination can um, lead to delays in patient care, alterations in your normal practice, which in the worst case scenario could lead to patient harm. I'm thinking like an emergency department would be particularly uh, at risk. Yes, absolutely. Emergency department is one of those uh, those areas where uh, you could see a very tangible uh, impact from cybersecurity incidents. And, and there's certainly been instances where uh, emergency departments have chosen to um, uh, divert uh, mm -hmm. emergency vehicles because of a cybersecurity incident. Network medical devices are increasingly prevalent in, in healthcare. There's PHI everywhere. What do we do to start to reduce some of our risk related to cybersecurity? So we need to certainly transition our thinking from if a cybersecurity incident is going to occur rather to when will a cybersecurity incident occur. And when it, uh, we want to be certainly part of the group of healthcare organizations who are planning for it and are prepared. And a couple key things to focus on. Number one, establish a security program that looks at identifying security risks within your organization as well as addressing them uh, proactively. A second thing is a security incident response plan or incident response plan that takes into account uh, all of the different technologies that are used to deliver care. Many organizations have a incident response plan. However, are we updating those incident response plans frequently to, uh, to account for the changing technology environment? Those are two key components that uh, every organization should be working on today to improve their security posture. Yusa, thanks so much for doing this. Absolutely. Thanks for watching ECRI Now. You can find more insights from the experts on YouTube and at ECRI.org. Until next time, I've been your host, Paul Anderson.